Hey everyone, welcome back to my ministry. I'm your host, Nurse Alois. I wanted to make sure I address this situation um, to the body um, of Christ uh, regarding um, a man of God um, who uh, stepped down um, from ministry because um, of an old uh, sin. So I want to start off by saying, you know, the devil he knows your weak points he knows what they are and um the battles can be very very uh intense you have to uh up front make a decision that no matter what satan brings your way you're not gonna fall into sin you have to make that decision then you have to create a plan with the help of the holy spirit uh to fix your heart toward the things um of god and we're supposed to repent and step down if you're in leadership and you're not doing the right thing that's you're supposed to do that so uh you know just pray for people who uh, stepped into sin. They didn't make a choice to honor God's word. Um, you know, pray for people. Pray for your leaders. They need prayer. Um, let me give you a few examples of how vicious Satan is when he's trying to get people to uh, fall into sin and why it is so important to have a fasting and prayer life because if you don't have an active fasting and prayer life your flesh gonna take over and you're gonna be doing some stuff you don't have no business doing so you know throughout the years God will have me team up with ministers um, at churches to help build churches and I remember this one particular uh, husband and wife team. I've known them for years. We used to attend church together. Um, I remember the wife telling me. She said, Lois. She said, girl, sometimes we be going to these churches. It be women up on the front row without panties on. They open their legs and they show their, you know what, their private parts to men. In the pulpit I mean that's how vicious Satan will come to try to get a man to leave God and walk into sin I mean I'm just trying to tell you it's not like some people just you know just fail into sin I mean Satan does a all-out strategic plan to get God's children to fall into sin. And you have to know that that's what the enemy wants from you. You got to know straight off the bat. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Immediately, you know, if you a man and you can see in between a woman's dress or skirt. She trying to show you her, um, her stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got to look, you got to be like uh, Joseph in the Bible. <laughs> you better run. Y'all better leave. If you in a church setting, you're going to have to ask somebody to go escort people out of your church. Um, you got to do what you got to do to, to live in uh, holiness and uh, righteousness. Um, I interviewed another married couple on my uh, radio program and I asked the uh, minister Alvin you can go out there on my YouTube channel and just put minister Alvin and Lois Banks pull up that video I asked him to come on my radio program and talk about how these women used to come to his house during a prayer meeting I mean let me tell y'all these women be out here doing some some doggy dog stuff y'all hear me talking about they walking with the lord so you know the tax to get a man to to you know leave god's word and uh you know have sex you know outside of marriage and all that i mean 
the tax be tri a trip, okay? I mean, Satan be concocting some stuff. So, Minister Alvin came on my radio program. His lovely wife was there. And I asked him specific questions because he has a powerful testimony about how you have to make up your mind from the jump, from the start to uh, serve God and to no matter what temptation come your way, no matter what Satan bring your way, you going to say no and you going to obey the Lord. I mean, you just got to make up your mind to do that, right? So Mr. Alvin said on the radio program that he used to have uh, prayer meetings, you know, in his house and the Holy Spirit told him a couple times after the prayer meeting when the men and women start to exit his home that um, he needs to keep one of his doors um, and uh, locks unlocked so that in case he needs a plan of escape you know he can just sit on the front porch or go sit on on the back porch because you know people be you know concocting some plans so Minister Alvin said, you know, one by one, people were leaving his house from the prayer meeting. And this one woman, she kind of waited around. And then he walked out uh, of the living room, came back in, and she was butt naked. She didn't have no clothes on. The man looking at all the woman goodies, okay? The man said he did exactly what God told him to do. He went right outside, sat on the front porch, told her to put her clothes on leave his house and go home he said the same thing happened one time um another time where a woman was you know just they just they they bold they out here bold y'all so you know Satan ain't gonna send you no 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 a uh, little something he gonna send you some crap okay where you at that point in time you gotta figure out what you gonna do okay and who you going to serve and what decisions you going to make. And um, he said, same thing happened. Another lady took her clothes off, was butt naked. He had to go through the uh, his back door. Go outside, yell in the house, tell her to put her clothes back on and go home. So I'm just trying to tell y'all. When Satan concocts a plan to do something vicious. And to get you to leave God and his word, he come up with some, some stuff, okay? He know what you like. If you a woman and you like a handsome men, fine looking man and gorgeous men, that's who's saying going to bring you. He ain't going to bring you somebody you're not attracted to. He going to bring you somebody that is going to catch your eye and you got to figure out right then and there. Or what is you are going to do. Okay. As a matter of fact. I be The Lord be giving me my plans. I, I can remember being somewhere. In West Palm Beach. And a multi-millionaire was digging on me. He out of the blue. He just reached down and kissed me out the blue. Wasn't even expecting it. Okay. Listen. I backed up. Said goodnight. Lois went to her room. Okay, because I was in a, a city for a convention by myself. Okay, because we're not playing that. Now, this multi-billionaire, I'm sure, could bed any woman, get any woman in the bed, get her to do whatever she uh, he wanted her to do, but not me. See, I belong to God. And I already made a decision a long time ago. Lois going to keep her panties on and her clothes on. Lois ain't doing that. Okay. I told y'all how I was raised. I ain't going out like that. Okay. So once God started teaching me about holiness and righteousness, that means you're not supposed to be going around having sex outside of marriage and all this, all this foolishness. And so, you know, we want to make sure that we are representing uh, God to the utmost and to the fullest. I mean, there's no such thing as a perfect person, but there is a such thing as an obedient person. Oh, yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. And to get to that level of obedience where 
no matter what Satan throw your way to try to tempt you, your spirit is stronger than your flesh. And the only way for me to get there was for me to, uh, you know, have an active fasting and prayer life. Okay? Because Lo is like a, a fine man. Okay? The man is fine. I'm going to be attracted to him. But because, you know, um, I'm more mature now, he got to be fine. He got to have the heart for the Lord. He got to be doing right. You know what I'm saying? We can't be dealing with no craziness. You know what I'm saying? So, I like gorgeous men. I love a gorgeous, gorgeous man. Okay? But if he ain't right, he ain't right. And Lois is keeping her clothes on. So, I just felt led to share some examples of what the enemy does you know so if you're a female and you you know you like a certain type of man and and then you know the man come and he maybe kiss you like the like the multimillionaire kissed me you know unexpectedly you know because he was digging on me or you know uh you know you just He's the person is attractive and keep the clothes on. I don't care what is going on, keep your clothes on. Make a decision, an exit decision. You, you, you can't be in no situations where you in a room by yourself with an attractive man or attractive woman ain't got no clothes on. You have no business in that situation. You ain't no business. If you're a female, let men up in your house if you're single. Men don't belong in your house if you're single. That cut a lot of nonsense down. Uh, if you're a man or if you're a woman, you don't need to be in no corner where it's dark. Okay? You don't need to be doing all that. You need to find a way to be with each other and um honor the lord i remember uh minister alvin telling me when he was dating his wife that um uh, when they met and they sat down um on the couch during the day there would be a pillow between them like a divider she sat on one side he sat on the other side they talked they got to know each other but you, you know, one no, you gonna be up on me and all that, and touching the leg and whoo, no child, don't don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, y'all already know. Come on now, but uh, y'all know what I'm saying. You gotta stay away from all of that, so that you can honor God and do uh, the right thing. So, um, just pray for your leaders. You know. God is definitely cleaning um, house. I don't know what was exposed so far on the news. I know what the Lord has told me. But it hasn't been exposed uh, on the news yet. And um, just pray for people. You know, people need prayer. And one of the areas that Satan uses a lot with men is sex. He uses that a lot. So you you got to know going into a ministry that Satan going to come up with you come to you with some sex whether you be a man or a woman. Okay, I'm just I'm just letting you know now. Sex is like one of the number one things that Satan uses to destroy a man or a woman's ministry or a man and a woman's walk with the creator of the universe. You got to know that. You got to know it. And, and make a firm decision not to be disrespectful to God. I mean, don't choose um, a woman's private parts over God. And a woman, don't choose a man's private parts over God. Don't, don't do it. That's not right. So this is Prophetess Nurse Lois just being real. Talking like I always talk. So that you understand that Satan going to come with some stuff. He going to come to get you to uh, be disrespectful toward God. That's what he going to do. And you got to have the right heart um, to, to serve your God. Okay. So this is Prophetess Nurse Lois coming to you from Lost Banks Ministry. God bless you.